Triple Elvis 777 clocking in, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go on a dad rant today. 26 year old is going on a dad rant. So I watched the Charleston White interview with uh, Ayatollah Marv and uh, Melvin Farmer, I think his name is. Uh, Crips, Bloods, and I guess a country boy. I guess, uh, what's his name? I guess Charleston White's like a country boy. Either way, everybody gets too sidetracked with uh, pride, okay? So pretty much Charleston White was saying how he felt about something, and then the Crip came in and said, hey, look, ain't no if, ands, or buts. I stand for Crip Blue. I stand for pretty much my hood, my section. I never understood that mentality. I never understood gang mentality. But from my understanding, it's it spans from racist white people back in the day. Um, pretty much they were bullying, all right? So then uh, blacks made their communities together, fought against white people, and then took over a certain area of America. Well, let's just start with that that fact right there, or or that picture right there. Racism has always been evil, okay? That's why you had the North and the South fighting. Somebody wanted to end slavery. There's always been this uh, stigma against good and evil, if, if that makes sense. This is not what I'm going to do. I'm not going to accept evil with evil, okay? So, because something bad happened to me, I'm going to go do such and such to other people a hundred times over, and then the cycle never ends. So this is my challenge to everybody, okay? Everybody arguing about this. Instead of being a crip or a blood or a country boy, how about we be Americans, okay? We got the red for the bloods, we got the whites for the whites, and we got the blues, boys. It's not hard. We could just be united under one, all right? Today, it's just too much controversy, and we're all fighting over nothing, all right? The Crips and the Bloods never formed a government. Last time I checked, the land that they're on is the uh, United States. So let's just be Americans. If you could denounce the gang, if you say, hey, look, instead of standing so proudly for your gang, get rid of that altogether. Hey, look, I'm not going to be a gang member anymore. I'm going to be an American citizen. And maybe we'll start making progress, and you'll start seeing, hey, there's, there's, there's a way to act and there's a way not to act. Now, you can respect and love each other. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Love thy neighbor as thyself. A lot of people, you know, just gave up their values and morals for what? Charleston White, I mean, I don't understand. Charleston White said F Moses. I don't think he's, you know, fully read the scripture there, but Moses was not a bad guy. I think when you start putting race into all that, you're ruining the message. So, it's one of those things. You know, be proud of where you came from, yes, but also be willing to grow and learn and, and build with somebody else. You don't got to be uh, so enclosed in your city that you can't branch out and say, look, you know how big America is? Why wouldn't you want to represent the whole country rather than just a block? I, I never understood that. So, you know, I just hope every day that people grow, learn. I think that what we're missing is a spiritual side. I really do. And I've never been about gangs or gang members or any of that. But, I mean, I understand some people got to defend themselves. It's just when, you, when you're promoting extortion, when you're promoting murder, when you're promoting stealing, um, there's a lot of flaws in that way of thinking. And then also you're in America and you don't want to live according to the laws of the land. So you're never going to win that war. You're never going to win that argument. And until you say, all right, this is my land. I'm claiming this. I'm ready to go to war with the United States. Then it's not really yours. You're just, you're just running your mouth, and then you're getting caught up in the system. So if you want to be a part of the system and, and build with it and grow with it, claim America. Stop claiming a block. Like, I'm not giving an excuse to uh, evil white people, but I'm not giving an excuse to evil black people either. See, it's, it's too much color going on. Oh, you're this color, you're that color. I was taught that we're all one spirit under God. We're all one nation under God. So, yeah, evil has happened, but I've never owned a slave. I've never seen any of this stuff happen. So, it, it's like, what are we talking about? Now, maybe y'all can educate me, and I'm willing to learn, I'm willing to listen. But I just think that all this hatred going on, it's not going to get us nowhere. So to get us somewhere, to say, hey, look, let's be united as a country again. Let's make a change in our communities. Let's stop saying, oh, okay, hey, he got away with murder, but he's a blood, so I ain't got to tell nobody. Or he got away with murder, he's a crib, he ain't got to tell nobody. Oh, they're pimping women out here. They're part of my gang, so then ain't nobody got to know. We got to stay out of that. No, you got to stand up for right. If you're not going to do that, then you're not, you're not going to have un uh, unity. I'm talking about uniting people, but you still stand for one color. I stand for all of America. 
Believe it or not, you're an American citizen. You're part of my culture. We are all one. It doesn't have to be us first, you. I don't understand that mindset. I'm pretty sure what? Uh, I think it was Michigan. Michigan's never had, uh, what is it? Michigan's always had uh, blacks able to vote throughout history. So everybody looks at the South side of history and thinks that that was American history. That's not true. You have the good, the bad, and the ugly. The North is a big part of American history. So just keep that in mind. I don't want everybody fighting. And as a white person seeing all this, I just see a bad stigma on white people. Uh, a lot of y'all really hate white people. And honestly, if we could go every day without talking about race, we would probably get somewhere. But every time I see like a DC young fly up there saying that Moses killed police, which is crazy, um, Moses did a bad thing and he acknowledged that. He ran from that. Um, it's just insane to me that we're glorifying, we're glorifying our pride and, and evil because it fits our narrative. We want to run with that. But sometimes you got to be the bigger man and say, hey, look, look, I know what I've been doing is wrong. And today I'm willing to sit there and I'm going to face the consequences of my action, but I'm, I'm ready to change the path that I'm going. If you've been cripping for 70 years, ain't nothing changed, then come on. It, it's, it's really, it, it's too much pride. It's all your pride. It's time to, it's time to unite. The United States, it's time to unite. And I just hate to see that all these gang members and, you know, I guess country folks, I, I don't know what Charleston White is, but I think he needs to get educated in uh, Christianity and the founding of the country as well. Because there's a little bit of hate coming from him. Should not be hate. But, you know, a different different strokes for different folks. A lot of people come from different walks of life. My message today is be an American. Alright? Start to start thinking of you everyone as your brother. If they're if they're on this land and they claim America, they pay their taxes, they're an American citizen. Now, we gotta start working towards programs to help people out of, you know, bad situations and stuff like that as well. I'm not saying that it's gonna be easy, but we gotta acknowledge each other as brothers to one another. It's a rough, it's a rough, uh, it's a rough topic. I'm not, I'm not, it's not an easy situation. It's really not. But I, I hope that uh, everybody learns to get along and, uh, you know, we make progress. But I'm not going to take, I'm not going to take excuses because a lot of people want to make excuses. We're not here to do that. We're here to actually make a change and stand for something bigger than our block, bigger than ourselves, bigger than our city. The whole country. You could you could claim the whole country. We are over here, here arguing about who knows what, man. If you're if you think murdering people is okay, if you think getting back at somebody with that mindset, oh, I gotta get back at them is okay. Uh, if you think stealing, prostitution, uh, pimping, any of that is okay, you're part of the problem. You're not you're not fixing anything. You're not gonna change anything. If you if you could sweep it under the rug. And by us, just life. It is what it is. It's not going to fix anything. Okay? You got to start standing up for righteousness. Start taking the responsibility for some of the actions that we do. We claim we claim these stupid things just to be a brotherhood when we could be a one brotherhood and a whole country, the United States. But we are still arguing about the dumbest things, man. So I hope that, uh, you know, I hope one of you guys can inform me on something that I'm missing. Because I don't understand how come... When we're supposed to love our neighbor as ourself, we're over here killing our brothers and sisters. I don't get that. So inform me, educate me, and then let's see let's see how we could grow from this. I want to see people in Congress. I want to see people running for the Senate. I want to see actual change. I don't want to see, oh, well, I did this to these people, and now they're going to leave me alone. I extorted these people, and now they're going to leave me alone. That's not going to do it. Not going to do it. And then uh, Charleston White saying... Um, Martin Luther King died broke and nobody, his kids didn't like him. That's fine. His kids don't have to like him. You know who does like him? The American people. You know why? Because he stood for peace and he made a change. The Civil Rights Act. Things actually happened according to how he behaved and how he ran things and did things. So if you want to make a change, sometimes you got to do it peacefully. And, and you got to go through the government. Be a part of the government. Like, I, yeah, I'm not a fan of all that, oh, you snitched, all that stuff. You shouldn't be doing crime. I pay taxes, you shouldn't be doing crime. Actually, my area has, like, no crime. That's a great, it's a great thing to be. You know, I might live on 10 acres. 
away from everybody, but sometimes you don't want to be next to everybody. I don't want to have a, I don't want to have somebody right next to my house. You know what I mean? Sorry, the dog's running around. It's just too many problems, and, and I, I guess it's on the internet because in real life I don't see any of this. I've never seen a crip or a blood anywhere, and I, even in Jacksonville. I haven't seen no Crips or Bloods. And if they are there, they're, they're hiding. Or they're not like, uh, how do I, how do I say it? They're not like walking outside with their flags out. But also, you know, I'm not very informed in game co gang culture, and I'm not really for gang culture. I'm for the American people. And, and as much as I know, you're an American citizen. So you're part of my people. So let's work on fixing this. So there's my rant for the day. Um, educate me, guys. I'm willing to listen. But I'm not going to accept excuses, so Triple Elvis is out.